Good afternoon. I am Detective Chief Inspector John Caldwell. This afternoon, detectives from the major investigation team investigating the murder of Natalie McNally are releasing CCTV footage, along with details of her award from the charity Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers, who are independent of police, have offered an award of up to £20,000 for information leading to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for Natalie's murder. Natalie was murdered in her home in Silverwood Green in Lurgan and we believe the attack took place on the night of Sunday the 18th of December. The 32 year old who was 15 weeks pregnant died a violent death having been stabbed a number of times. CCTV footage release shows a man carrying a rucksack arriving at Silverwood Green on Sunday night at 8.52pm. Then at 9.30pm we see him walking out of Silverwood Green. He appears to be wearing white footwear, possibly trainers. My thoughts firmly remain with Natalie's devoted parents and family who have suffered terribly. And my appeal is to anyone with information, please come forward. I am keen to highlight a reward of £20,000 from Crime Stoppers, who are a charity and who are independent of police. The reward has been offered for information given directly to Crime Stoppers that leads to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for Natalie's murder. Crime Stoppers take information completely anonymously, meaning they will never ask for or store any personal details. Contact Crime Stoppers, please, on 0800 555 1. This is a free phone, or you can contact them online at www.crimestoppers uk. Org. There is no colour line display, no 1471 facility and computer IP addresses are never traced. Thank you. Yeah. I'm now the youngest of Natalie's three brothers and I would like to appeal to my sister to tell her to do a decent thing and confess to her murder. Nats, as we called her, was the only girl in that family. And we treated her like a princess. She lived and coped with being a diabetic from a really early age. And as a result, we were so protective of her and treated her like a precious egg. And yet she was a fiercely independent woman, working in marketing for Translink and was passionate about her beliefs and loved her animals and music. We were so proud of her many achievements. My mum and dad, Noel and Bernadette, my two brothers, Brandon and Declan, and I are completely devastated that she's no longer with us and I really can't believe we'll never see her beautiful smile or hear her infectious laugh again. I can't actually put into words the heartache we're experiencing. She was the life and soul of our family and we were heartbroken she will not be sitting around the table with us this Christmas day or any day. Nats really was the best sister ever and such a lovely person. She, she had so many friends and would have done anything for anyone. She had a heart of gold. And to add to our unbearable heartache, we were devastated that we will never meet Natalie's baby. We were all looking forward to welcoming in the family's first grandchild and niece or, 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 niece or nephew into the world next year. Our killers denied Nats the opportunity of being a mummy. I'm pleading on behalf of, her, of our family to bring any information to police or crime stoppers to help them put Nats' killer behind bars. My name is John, one of Natalie's many uncles. Natalie was a gorgeous, kind, generous girl who went the extra mile for her friends and family, but also for pets or any animal. She has come from one of the kindest, most generous, most loving, most caring families that I have ever had the privilege to meet.